What's up everyone? It's your girl Don Halfkenny and I am here live at 925 Atlanta. Y'all know it as T.I.'s Hot Spot. I have a nice book here. Y'all see it? All Access. Omar Tyree. We have some great people here. I can't wait to interview you. Uh, I'm Mary Ann. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I'm right here. If you, know, if you know where you want to get away with this and you want to get paid for $10 million, would you go out in Dominica? That's a hard one. Legal. If it's legal, can it be a legal crime? A legal crime. Okay, tell me. Tell me, yeah, what's a legal crime? <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, I'm Melissa Fortune. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a question for you. So for the price of fame, are you willing to commit a series of crimes? No, ma'am. Not even for $10 million? No, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so I have another question for you. So what if someone offers you $10 million for a sex tape? My name is Shawnessa. There you go with the sign language. You better. Okay. <laughs> nice. Are you willing to put your personal life in front of everyone to see? To judge you. Like, you know, whatever you do in life, somebody's going to judge you. So do what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. And on the other hand as well, I feel like it's important to, if you can help others, why not put your personal life out there? I know for me, like I'll go to the gym with you all, that I was sexually abused for 10 years by my ex stepmom. And so if I can put that onto the world and help others, because I know I'm not the only one. Well, thank you so very much for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. I am Whitney Shanklin. I'm from New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans. So for the price of fame, would you drop the N-word a few times? You make My name is Myra Biondo. I am from Chicago, Illinois, but I live here now, so I'm a Georgia Beach. I'm working straight to Beach. You are ten million dollars. Are you willing to put your personal life out just for the price of fame? My personal life? Personal life. You pay ten million dollars for You know what? Seriously, that's a good question because I think regardless of what you do, you put your life on the line for the price of whatever. Even, it doesn't matter the job. Hi, I'm Shantae Willis, and I'm from East St. Louis. A real woman with talent doesn't have to show every inch of her body. Okay. Yeah. All right, so would you be willing to put your personal life on the street? If it helps somebody, yes, absolutely. Hello, I'm Anisha Perrington from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay, so my question for you is, do you use the N-word, or would you have to be able to have to support the price of fame? For the price of fame, I feel as if I do not have the Okay, do you use it at all? Not at all. Not at all. Happy Wednesday, darling. Okay. Yes, it's my lip gloss popping. It's definitely the popping. Poppin'. So let me ask you. Yes. Okay, first I want you to introduce yourself and tell everyone where you're from. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> my name is Danica Clay, and um, I'm from Baltimore by way of Ohio. So I have to put that in there. Okay. You better represent. <laughs> represent. Shout out to my Deltas. I'm a member of Delta but they just were incorporated. Shout out to my Baltimore Ravens. I'm a Ravens fan and giving honor to God. Okay, Miss Vanity, so yes. I have questions for you. So, for $10 million, would you be willing to participate in sexual activities? No. For $10 million? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma Not even for a role. For the price of fame. For a role? Ten million dollars. Oh, I thought you meant a real. We're not talking. Are we talking about a real talk? Well, no. Well, you know, for the we're just asking. You know, for the price of fame. Like, what are you willing to do? A role. A role. Because that's what it is. It's acting. It's okay. a role. So yes, I would do it for ten million dollars because it's a role. Okay. Yes. So my next question for you. So, if it were, let's see, Kim Kardashian. And she wanted to, you know, she was going off on you, you know, she was getting on your nerves, and you know, you guys were seeing each other together, and you had to fist fight. Would you fight her? Yes. Like Kim Kardashian. I would fight Kim Kardashian. I would. Why would you fight Kim? Because, darling, it is what it is. Everybody wants to see drama. Hi, I'm Arlie Michelle. I'm from Bay Springs, supposed to be a teeny town. You blink, you miss it, but I've been in Atlanta long enough to call myself a beach. I'm a Bell Beach. Okay, well, how do you feel about the young ladies who um, they're basically having 
on social media, like, like, you trying to give me a show? What do you feel about that? We want to know. Okay, so I worked in education for a very long time. I'm very passionate about our young ladies being ladies. Um, it disturbs me that we think that we have to show, because men are pulling out their penises. Oh, can I say that? I'm sorry. Men are pulling out their packages, you know, on social media for us all to view. Why do we have to do the same thing? But so many things are so unequal and there's no equity. So somehow we've taught our young girls the only way you can be wonderful and loved is if you show me all you got. And then what's left for you to give to somebody who really loves you? So I am concerned that we're doing that. And no matter what happens in life, I'm always going to stick with my girl and say, you put your clothes on, get your mind right, and be strong women you know we are. We're like, we're the we birth civilization. I mean, we don't have to do that. I am Autumn Monroe. I am a George Peach by way of Brooklyn, New York, Versailles, and Portsmouth, Virginia. Uh, for the price of fame, would you be willing to put yourself on the line to personal life in front of everyone? Would you fight? Well, I know that a lot of it is editing, but yeah, I can make some faces and do some stuff and nut up a little bit. Yeah, I can act a dumb. Oh, you can yeah. act a dumb. Oh, yeah. Would you yeah. also make a sex tape? Well, it didn't, how much we talking now? <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's somebody give you a million for a sex tape. No. <laughs> that's not Two enough million. money. Yeah, no. So how that's, much that's, you, that's not enough. How much would you be willing to accept for a sex tape? A lot. It would have to be a lot. A lot. Yeah, some double digit millions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some double digit millions. Yeah. Okay. My name is Kiara Forever, and I'm from where I'm representing Atlanta. Okay. So you from the A? Okay. No, I'm not from Atlanta. I'm from Louisiana, but I live in Atlanta. So, let's just say an overview. She offered you some money. Let's just say, like, Two things about it. She wanted you to do reality TV shows. You have to change your body and you have to fight and everything like that. Would you be willing to do that? Yeah. I would. So you would be willing to put your personal life in front of everyone? Yeah. I would. Huh? Hey, hey, Miss Haraji from New Haven, Connecticut. Woo woo, C Tam. Would you be willing to do someone offering you $10 million to say to strip? What would you be willing to do for $10 million? $10 million is a lot of money. Oh, it's a lot of money. I mean, you did the birthday twerk. It's a lot of money. You did the birthday twerk. You did that for free, I'm sure. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, it's just, it's $10 million. Someone just, just walked right in the public. Like, I didn't even know that. I mean, it's just, you know what? Um, honestly, I don't think I would. Just for $10 million. I, have, I know it sounds crazy, but I have integrity about myself. Thank you all so very much for tuning in, and we also want to thank 925 Atlanta for having us. We appreciate you. Make sure you go check out the book here, All Access. Mr. Omar Tyree, he is doing his thing. So many people came out, and once again, I'm your girl, Don Hathkinney. All Access.